What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ryan Rututi, and welcome to Balloons Tower Defense 6. Now, in the last episode of Balloons Tower Defense 6, I told you guys to send me your codes telling me, well, you wanted me to play your maps, and I wanted to play your maps. So here we are today. I'm going to be doing some fan made challenges. And if you guys want to see this again, you guys want me to do more of these challenges, hit that like button, subscribe as well, turning on notifications, because, well, maybe we do it again in the future. And remember, you can send me your codes via my Twitter and it's in the description, or you can follow me just at Tootie, so it's Tootie with an S at the end, because somebody else took the name Tootie, and I'm a little upset, but it's, that's besides the point. So, the first code, it comes from Tank. Tank, uh, thank you so much, and he says, Tooties, I made a challenge for you. The code is DZRVPRC. All right, it's a good challenge, he says. Well, let's see. All right, so here's the code. Let's just give it a whirl and see what happens. Go! The challenge was created in Verdant and may not be possible to complete anymore. Oh no! Okay. Well, either way, um, we're still gonna give it a try, and we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. So you have just wait, is it just one of everything? One of every monkey. So okay, so basically I have to do just one of every monkey. That's it. That's the only that's basically all we have to do. Um we're gonna see how it goes. So are they all free? No, but I'm only allowed to use just one of every monkey. So we start off for some reason two thousand and four dollars, and we have to get to round fifty. Okay, well I think the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put down Quincy because Quincy's super good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down Quincy right here. And then on top of that, um, I think the first thing I want to do is I want to put down a banana farm. Because by having a banana farm, that's just going to be extra money, right? And that's going to help us get more and more money. So we can do that. I can't use any powers whatsoever. Okay. Oh, no. That means I can't put down any monkey farmers. No! Wait, is everything regen? Oh, no. Is everything regen? That could be really bad. Let's do auto start. Well, unfortunately... What we're going to want to do is I'm going to do marketplace just because it'll then that way the bananas will just collect themselves, which is going to be a lot better because I don't have the time to constantly have my mouse over there. So we can only have one of every monkey, which I'm a little bit nervous about, but I think when going to do a pretty good job of taking out all the balloons by himself, right? So there's banana plantation, easy collect, banana salvage. I also want... Uh, oh no, Quincy! Quincy's fine. He's gonna be able to deal with all of those. And I want Marketplace, which costs $2,900. That's really, really expensive. But I think we're gonna be able to get that just fine. I think what I also want is I wanna get... <sighs> Let's see. What is probably gonna be the best thing for us to get? I also... I probably want to get the Spike Factory. I want Never Ending Spikes. Oh wait, I have a free monkey to put down. What am I doing? We can go ahead and we can just put down a free monkey just like that. And he's going to be able to deal with so many balloons by himself. First thing starts is I want to get that marketplace. Because that marketplace is going to give us a lot of money. And we only have one banana farm anyways. So we got to be careful about how we go about uh, upgrading it. And we want to get it upgraded as quickly as possible. Because it's our only source of income besides, I mean, other monkeys popping balloons. But besides that, there's not really any other way for us to get money, right? So, we're doing alright so far. Oh, okay, there we go. I forgot. I have to actually sit here and just collect the bananas that come out. There we go. Alright, there we go. We got the marketplace, and that's gonna constantly give us a stream of money without having to have a banana farmer. So, we're good, we're good on that end. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get triple shot. So, we're gonna do razor sharp darts, and let's get ourselves... Uh, tr very quick shots. If we can get ourselves a triple dart monkey, that's gonna be perfect. I'm very excited about if we can get that, it's gonna be great. There we go. Triple shot, and boom. We're good to go. Okay, we already got triple shot. We're good to go. I think the next one is probably sniper. Having a sniper is gonna be really, really valuable. He's gonna be able to take out a lot of stuff. Actually, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of, basically all the balloons are regen balloons. What is something that stops regen balloons? I'm pretty sure it's a druid that stops regen balloons. Let me see, let me see. Heart of Oak. Thorns, thorns convert regen balloons into normal balloons. That's gonna be really, really good. So I think I want that. I think I want uh, Heart of Thunder and Heart of Oak. I think those, I think that's what I want. So we're gonna actually put a druid down because if everything's a regen, well, I don't wanna have to deal with that, right? So, Heart of Oak, there we go, and then, let's see, Druid of the Jungle, calls a vine from the ground, there we go, I want that, because that's gonna turn all of them into just normal balloons, right, which, oh my gosh, he's actually super strong, 
That lightning's amazing. What's the... Oh, Spirit of the Forest is really expensive. It's like $50,000. There's no way I'll be able to get that. Central Market's also $15,000, so I'm not going to be able to afford that either. So we're going to be okay. But look at that. We're actually doing a pretty good job. He's just turning them into normal balloons, which is really, really, really nice. And we have a lot of money. We actually have $3,000, so I think we're going to be able to do something with them. I don't know. I think we might want to put a spike factory down. We'll see. I could also, right here, is I could put one of these guys down so they can pop everything. And I'm pretty sure there's something about grow blocker. So it prevents while in the radius. So we want bigger radius, jungle drums. There we go. I think that's something that we're really going to want. Primary training. We could get primary training. And then, so all primary get more range pierce and projectile speed. That is true. And I could do mainly uh, primary monkeys in this one area. I actually think that's a good idea. Um, we're going to want radar scanner. Let's do that and primary and then primary mentoring and then so now that we have this we can get our primary monkeys for basically we can get all of their upgrades pretty much for free. So we can go ahead and we're going to put this guy here and then we can get a lot of free upgrades. I think we're going to want to get ring of fire. So we're going to want to get uh, faster shooting, long range tax and both of those upgrades were free which is awesome. Got to be planning ahead. Super range and then there we go. That's going to help out a ton. We're already on round 27 of this. We're actually breezing by. I'm pretty happy that we're doing all right. We got Quincy. Quincy's not even having to do anything anymore. This guy, this Drood is popping so many balloons. I, he was a good pickup. I wasn't even expecting him to be like popping that many. Look, this guy's only popped two so far. We're going to need something that's going to deal with uh, Moab balloons because Moab balloons are going to start showing up pretty soon. What we could do is actually... We can get, let's get, we can get a, a sub down and we can get, I think getting a, getting, yeah, getting, getting a sub here. And we're probably going to want to get ourselves, um, airburst and advanced intel. So your towers, yeah, an airburst starts, airburst split into three on impact for massive popping power. So we're going to want advanced intel and then we're also going to want airburst darts and triple darts. And then this way he's going to be able to just pop so many armor piercing. Um, more damage to Moab class balloons. That's actually great. That's definitely what I want because now we can just deal extra damage to Moab class balloons. Definitely what we want. We want to be able to deal with Moabs much easier. How does this guy? Oh, because he has camo popping properties thanks to the monkey village. Let's see. We have $3,000. I think I want more primary monkeys in the radius of this guy. So we can go ahead and I'm going to put a, um, I could put it. We can just put an ice monkey right here, right? Yeah. He's in the radius. So I want to get deep freeze, arctic wind, larger radius, refreeze, and arctic wind. There we go. Anything in this radius is going to slow the balloons down, allowing this guy to do even more damage. Let's go. And let's see what other primaries we can get ourselves. We can get ourselves a boomerang guy right there. He's in range. We can get, I think we probably want to get glaive lord. Faster rings, longer range, red hot. Let's do let's do red hot and then we'll do we'll do glaive ricochet and then more glaives. There we go. Now we're have now we have a lot of people. We're making a lot of money right now. We're doing we're, I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far for us, okay? Let's see the, the monkey sub. We're doing all right. We're at three thousand dollars so far. I want to put down I guess can I put down we can put this guy down. And then we're probably going to want to get ourselves Moab Mauler. I think that's probably the way we want to go. We're going to do shoot larger bombs. They have a larger, more popping power, two layers. And then we're going to want to get a Moab Mauler and Moab Assassin, actually. So that way we can instantly take out the Moab as soon as it shows up in the next round. We can literally just push this button. Moab's going to be instantly gone. I think that's going to work out wonders for us, okay? I actually want to make sure this guy's targeting strong balloons as well. Boom. There we go. There's the Moab instantly taken out. We have $6,000. How many is this guy popping? He's popped 4,000 already. Holy cow. This airburst guy is crazy. It adds extra pierce and damage to commander, and it's all subs in the radius. I could get more, more of these guys, actually. Oh, no, I can't get more of them because I can only have one of each tower, which is kind of funny because that's, like, how I roll anyways. So it's kind of, like, interesting that's how it ends up working. But you know what? I'm happy about that. And we're already only five more rounds and we're going to be winning this round. So I'm pretty happy about that. We need to get, I guess I could go ahead. I mean, we could upgrade this if we want, but there's only five more rounds left. So there's really no point in doing that. We got the boomerang monkey. Who's popped the most so far? I, the, the monkey subs popped the most by far, which is insane to me. We could add this guy, but there's really no point. I think what we could do is honestly, we could just add a super monkey. 
We want to be. I want him to be in range. I can't have him in range. Well, I guess I'll just put him. I guess we'll. I guess the smart thing to do is just put him here. And super range, epic range. And let's do. I guess probably plasma bass, robo monkey. There we go. And now he's just gonna be able to deal with any problems that come our way. Oh no! The second I do that, plasma balloons show up. Why? Why must you do this to me? How rude. Round 48's almost done. We've almost got it, guys. Okay. We got the ice monkey. Ooh, snowstorm. There we go. I'll get snowstorm. And this is next round's gonna be the last round, and we would have completed the challenge. We actually kind of breezed past this. Oh wait, Drew the jungle, jungle's bounty. There we go. I got, I don't know why I upgraded it to jungle bounty. I feel like that's not even worth it. But you know what? We take those, I guess. Let's see who's popped. It's still this guy. He's popped nine thousand. There we go. Oh, we slowed them all down. Yeah, round fifty. There. Oh nope, never mind. It wasn't round fifty. I was, I was deceived. I thought we were gonna be okay, but turns out we weren't okay. There we go, victory! We've completed one of every monkey challenge by tank. Six, three, five, two, seven, three. Thank you for the challenge, and on to the next challenge. All right, guys, so on to the next challenge from Fletcher Harms. Tootie, can you play my challenge? The code is here. So we're gonna take his code, and now, thank you for that challenge, my friend. We're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna play his challenge. Um, enter code, and boop, there's the code. We're gonna give this a try. The challenge was created in version 12 and may not be possible. Oh, well, that's fine. So, buff the mortars, 90% of everything. Medium or to impoppable. So we have one mortar, so we have one, of the, we have one of these, we have three alchemists and three mortars. Interesting, okay, so, oh no, this is gonna be rough. Okay, I see how this goes. We're gonna try a new game here and we're gonna see how, how difficult, this seems like it's a little bit. Impoppable will test your balloons, skill to the max, some free play rules and difficulty will apply it later rounds. Oh my goodness, we only have one life and it goes to round 100? And we only have three mortars? Oh no, this is gonna be insane. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Um, so we have $3,600, interesting. And we have Striker Jones. I, oh, this map is really intense. So, Striker Jones, we can't really put in multiple spots. We can put Striker Jones, I feel like putting, putting Striker Jones Interesting. I feel like Striker Jones should go here for now. I but that's so much wasted like space. Right? I feel like this is probably the best bet for him. I know it's not the best, but we're gonna put him there. That leaves us with two thousand seven hundred dollars. Do we only do we have infinite amount of these? I think we have infinite amount of banana farms, which is really good. So we're on round six out of one hundred already. So we need to really think about this. I can't use power ups. Can I use, I think I can only, yeah, I can only use, oh. let's go ahead and we're going to put down one banana farm, just one for now, and then we're going to put down another mortar monkey, so we're going to have the mortar monkey right, we're going to have the mortar monkeys here, the reason we want the mortar monkeys here is we also want to have the alchemists next to the mortar monkeys to boost them, but we also want the alchemist at the start of the map to be able to deal with some of the balloons, right, so we're going to do that and wow this is gonna be this is gonna be difficult i wish i could all right that's gonna be fine let's let's give this a try oh man this is gonna be rough this is this is gonna be rough this is not gonna be easy this is gonna be very crazy oh no oh no okay who this is not oh i have to also collect money at the same time uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh okay Okay, we need, we're gonna need faster reload ASAP. We need faster reload ASAP. Okay, there we go. So basically all the balloons are gonna come through here. And so we de we definitely want right here to be like the spot, right? This is where we're gonna want everything to kind of take place. And we also need to be able to start getting us more and more money. Oh man, this is going to be rough trying to complete this challenge, okay? This is going to be such a crazy challenge. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I'm definitely not a good enough balloons player, but you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to do my best bet trying to take this out. Round 100 seems a little bit intense, but we're going to see. I, we're, I'm, doing, I'm doing okay so far. This guy can kind of just sit right here and, and not have to worry about too much. So we're actually, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that so far. We only have three of them though, so we have to be very careful. I don't know what, I think we might have to get one of each upgrade, but we're gonna, we'll see, we'll see. 
We shall see. Banana, greater protection. There we go. We're going to want to get more, more. And then Striker Jones should be able to deal with any balloons that get out. So, boom. I think I want to get bigger blast and balloon blast. Balloon. Bigger blast delivers a bigger blast radius. That costs $600, though. We're doing okay for now because I can move it to each one. So, right now, I need to really focus on getting as much money as possible. Uh, easy collect. I don't know. We're doing actually, we're doing okay. We're doing easy collect and banana salvage. Okay, so we, we it'll collect them for half if we have to. There we go. And Striker Jones is doing an okay job of getting any of the, like, the stragglers. So I'm okay with that. What does this do? Oh, so that like stuns them. Oh, that's actually so good because it can stun them in here. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want that. We definitely want that. Okay, so if a bunch of balloons come in, we can just stun them. Okay. So we can just like boop and then stun them and get rid of like a bunch of them. Okay, that's good. Uh, we need the marketplace, which costs 3,400. I'm saving up for that marketplace. That marketplace is crucial to winning. If I can get that, we're gonna be in a much, much better situation. Okay, come on. Actually, we're doing all right. Oh, that's a lot of balloons. Oh, the green, the yellow balloons. Yellow balloons were to get crazy and that's when I need to start like intervening. Luckily, I haven't needed to do anything in super intense, but Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna stun this guy. Oh, we need to, we need to slow down. We need to slow down here. We need bigger blast and we need to put this over here for now. There we go, come on. Come on, Striker Jones, can you get that guy? Okay, literally if one balloon gets by, we lose. How, think about that. One balloon gets by and it's over for us. So we have to be very careful about how we go about this. Okay, there we go. We finally got the marketplace so I can, I can focus more on dealing with all of this because we're gonna need a lot of we don't need to have a lot of money but we're gonna need a decent chunk right uh we definitely want smash through two layers of balloons at once yes okay and then rapid reload um oh, even faster reload speed yeah we're gonna need to get that Ooh. yeah we want faster reload okay there we go now we're now we're cooking now we're cooking with fire oh no i can't deal with these there we go okay Okay, come on. I can't deal with that one balloon. Are you kidding me? Um, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna set target here. Okay, come on. It's gonna go through and blast it. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out, 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 time out. Okay, yikes. Okay, this isn't good. All right, we're in a little bit of a better spot right now, but I definitely wanna get an alchemist. I wanna get an alchemist here. And then I want to get the alchemist. We're going to want to do perishing potions, an offensive potion strip, fortified all lead, ceramic balloons, and greatly damages Moab, Moab class balloons. Yeah, so we're going to want to do stronger, perishing, larger, acid mixture. There we go. And I also want berserker brew. So extra damage, range, and attack speed last longer. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's set targets in here. And boom. Okay. Man, this is intense. Okay, this is very intense. Uh, that's not, that's not good. Okay, uh, we still have $2,000, so we're doing okay. Uh, oh no. We gotta get rid of those black balloons. We need, oh, we can have, we can have one of these things that allows us to hit all types of balloons. But we need more money before we can do that. Oh wait, he can't hit camo balloons. He can't hit camo balloons. We need to, we need to time out, we need to time out. You, you literally, I don't have enough for radar scanner. No. No, 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 I have to sell this. I have to sell this and I have to buy radar scanner and then I have to set target and I have to blow it up. Oh man, this is intense. This is super intense. Okay. This is really, really intense. We're at round 25 and we're like, we're struggling right now. Striker Jones is doing okay, but this is painful. How much, this guy's only made 4,000. This guy has barely done anything for us. We need more bananas. We really need to focus on getting more and more money. But like, he's just hasn't, this banana farm is just not making us money right now. Not a lot at least, not enough, which is not good. I wish maybe we could get a bank so we can start getting loans. Oh my goodness, we can't deal with these balloons. Okay, that's gonna deal with that, but we still have one more zebra balloon that we can't deal with. We can, oh no, it's so fast, it's so fast. Uh, set target, set it there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, there we go, we got that. This is a very, very intense thing. I need to get more, but I just don't have the money. I guess I really should just go ahead and just get another banana farm. 
It's just so difficult trying to do this. This is crazy. Okay, I need to focus on getting just more of the bananas. The balloons are like, we're taking the balloons out and that's fine. Boom, okay, we're taking them out. All right, see, we can deal with that. Oh, lead balloons, I was made for this. I was made for this. Okay, I need 3,400 for the next one. I still just can't deal, I can't deal with everything though, which is a little concerning. Considering a Moab's gonna show up at any second now. Heavy shells, do extra damage, ceramic lead, all can also pop black balloons. Yes, okay, I needed that, I needed that upgrade. Okay, we got that, we got that upgrade. So now I can pop pretty much all types of balloons. Um, I need a, as three barrels for triple the pain. That's gonna be really nice for popping balloons. I actually really, really, really need to get that. Cause if that's triple, that's just extra, extra damage. But I can get, I need to think. We haven't lost a single life yet, which is good, but also could be better. I also feel like I want to see a bigger radius is not that great. I really don't care about getting a bigger radius. Um, do I want to get the triple or do I, we're doing okay now. I think we can go ahead. I think we can get away with getting more, with getting more money because we need to just start seriously getting more and more money. The more money flow we have, the, the easier it's going to be for our life. There we go. Luckily, Striker Jones can kind of stun them in that area, which is very, very, very useful. Because if I didn't have Striker Jones, we would be in a very, very difficult situation right now. Because he has that ability to just stun balloons. So we can t pop all types of balloons right now, which is really, really nice. Uh, but we're going to get the battery. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. That's so much better. Okay, now, now we're cooking with fire. Now we can kind of deal with almost anything gets sent at us. Hopefully we can deal with this Moab. I just hope that we can deal with this Moab. Because yeah, every every balloon that goes in here is getting destroyed. I just hope that we can deal with a Moab balloon. What I wanna do though is it's time to, what's the central market? Earns heaps of money each round. I might be want, like tempted to get a bank, but I feel like banks just don't give us as much money, you know? Let's see, popping off. I could get another one, which is just gonna, okay, here's a Moab. Okay. Come on. All right, Striker Jones, does that stun it? It does stun it. Okay, set target. Set target. Okay, boom. All right, we, we dealt with our first Moab. We dealt with the first Moab, guys. This is great that we were able to deal with the first Moab. Okay. Now that we've dealt with the first Moab, I think we're, we're definally doing much better. I want to get... Central Market costs $18,000. I don't know. Is it worth it to get that $18,000? It has to be, right? It has to be worth it to get that $18,000. Okay. Come on. I'm almost at it. I think that's gonna, that's gonna help us a lot. There we go. So yeah, that's gonna give us a tremendous amount of money. At least I hope so. It seems like it's giving us the same amount. It seems like it's giving us like literally the exact same amount of money actually. But you know what? I'm, I can't complain. We just need to get more, more and more of these, the better. The more marketplaces we have, the better it's going to be for all of us. And the more money we're making, the more we can really focus on getting a, a stronger defense. We're on round 45 already using just this one guy. It's intense. Okay, everyone. This is intense of a round. Okay. Come on. We need to put this one down. And let's do the marketplace. And then increase production. Greater production. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we're starting to make a lot of money. And now that we have this, we, let's focus a little bit more on defense because I can see this getting a little bit out of hand if we're not careful. And I don't want this to get out of hand. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, I finally want to get my, my alchemist back because I had to sell him, which made me really sad. But I want to do that. And we also want him to start get strong. So he's going to throw that down and we're going to be much happier off. And I also want to get jungle drums, which increases attack rate, uh, attack speed of everything around it. So we're doing okay with that. We still have three alchemists, right? I think what we want to do now is we want to get another... It's time to get another one of these guys, right? And I definitely want to get the biggest one. Smashes through 20 layers of balloon over a huge area. I think I want to do that with rapid reload. And then balloon incineration. Super hot, mostly five layers of balloon each shot. Burns Moab class balloons for extra damage and strips DDT camo. That's going to be really important to get. But we don't need that until the later round. So I can focus on getting the big one um, with faster reload. So the big one costs a lot of money. Um, 
But we're kind of melting through everything that gets sent at us right now. And I mean like everything that gets sent at us, we're doing a we're doing a pretty good job of dealing with that right now. Luckily the moon map's a pretty easy map for this because they have to spin around here in a while. So everything that goes through kind of just gets annihilated as you can see. So let's see, how much has that made? That's made a considerable amount more money. So we want to get central market for all of our all of our balloons needs. Central market is going to be our guy. So let's just keep doing that. We're okay for now. I can see this getting becoming a problem soon though if we're not careful. If it comes down to it, I can slow it down or at least slow down time and go to the next one. Getting to round 100 on impalpable mode with these towers though seems a little bit ridiculous. We're going to do our best though. Okay, nice uh, central market. I want all of these to become central markets. And then that way we just have all of this money that we can kind of mess around with and kind of just like focus on, right? And we luckily we also have Striker Jones. Striker Jones doesn't seem to do a lot. Boom, but I can do that and stun the balloons while we're in there. I actually ended up putting Striker Jones in a very like useful area. I was not expecting it to be such a great area for this. But we're dealing with Moabs and everything that kind of comes through. I'm a little nervous. Oh, what's this? Wait, what's this new ability that he has? What is it? I don't know what this ability is. I don't, I forgot, I forgot what this ability does and I'm a little upset. I forgot that it's only 18,000. Wait, was, uh, I forgot what it does. Wait, 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 wait. upgrades. Um, uh, all right, resets cooldowns of all bomb shooters and mortar monkeys? Oh, okay. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I see the strategy here. We almost have all of these, which is gonna be really good. We wanna stun that right there. I think we're gonna be okay dealing with the Moabs. The, or the BFBs once they start showing up. I'm a little bit nervous about some of the other problems, but right now, this is just like a, a death zone for all balloons that try to come in here, which is perfect. It's what we want, right? And we got this, the brew monkey who's puts, who just constantly puts the brew on, which is really, really nice. Round 58. Uh, I'm not gonna upgrade this guy yet. I wanna upgrade, let's get the big one, which five layers of balloons each, and let's also start getting Bernie stuff. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna want Bernie stuff. Let's do, we probably want even, so wait, wait, wait. So it melts through five layer per balloon each shot. So basically you just wanna shoot really fast. So we want faster reload for that. And then shattering shells, boom. And that's gonna help out. Here comes our first BFB. I'm not little, I'm not too worried. Oh my goodness, it's getting in, the Bernie stuff is really doing wonders. Let's stun it and boom all right we dealt with the, we dealt with our first bfb rather easily actually so there we go now we have all of these markets just making us tons and tons of money so now what we want to focus on doing is let's do we have the brewmaster uh let's look at the alchemist is there anything we can do unstable concoction coats in a, an explosive that causes a large explosion when they're popped we want that we want that one badly Okay, you know what's up. So we want we want uh, unstable concoction, and we want strong. So we want that because if it explodes and does extra damage, that's gonna be great. And we'll do acid pool. Uh, turns into alchemist. I don't want that. It costs five thousand dollars. It's not worth it. Okay. So the biggest one, balloon incinerator, and pop and all. So pop and all range explosive with the whole screen popping and immobilizing all balloons for a few seconds. Uh, super up burning stuff melts in five balloon explosion. I think I want the balloon incinerator, or the biggest one. Smashes through. Tr I think I want that. That's what I want. That's I want. I want the biggest one. I want. I want this one because that's just gonna melt anything that comes into the way. Anything that tries to walk through is going to just instantly get shattered by whatever we try to throw at it. So we're doing much, much better with that, and I'm very happy with that situation. Okay, so if we have that. We have, we have Pop and All, which is going to be really nice. We also have Mortar Monkey, which is 54,000. I think we probably want Pop and All as the next. I actually want Bernie Stuff as the next one. Bernie Stuff's going to be very useful. Look at that. And see, now when they like violently explode, thanks to our Alchemist, this is going to be awesome. I actually really like this challenge because everything kind of works together in a fun way, right? Because you have all of these towers that kind of like, they just mesh really, really well. This is actually a pretty cool combo, actually. And it's fun. We're playing on Impoppable. And it's a little bit crazy because, well, if we, we only have one life, well, there's no way to, if we lose literally any lives, the challenge over and we just lose. We've gotten a little, we've gotten some close calls so far, but it's been pretty fun so far. What does the last alchemist do? See, he just turns things to gold. I really don't know how, 
like useful that's gonna be. I really want the balloon incinerator. Super hot burning stuff. Melts through five layers of balloon each shot. Burns low class balloons for extra damage. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, look at this. These guys are these guys are finally they're they're making their worth back after all this time. It took a while. It took a while, but now they're they're really making us money. And we can get the balloon incinerator too. Boom! There's our balloon incinerator. Let's go! Look at that. That is just a death zone for anything that walks through there. And luckily, we have three of those little areas. So anytime anything goes in there, it just gets shredded. Let's go. Okay. Let's do. We have pop on all, which is 36,000. Ugh, that's a little bit spooky if you ask me. But it's okay. I believe. I believe in us. I believe in the cause. We need 36,000 for that pop and all ability. And then we can use Striker Jones to, like, reset it every time we need to. Striker Jones has... He hasn't done a lot, but he's done enough. You know what I'm saying? He's done enough. There you look. The, the BFBs just get melted as soon as they walk through, which is terrifying because we need to get to round 100 on this, guys. Round 100. Okay. There we go. We got popping off. So there we go. That is all three fully maxed, and we can't get any more. But what we can do now is we can start upgrading our alchemists. So there, our alchemists start doing a little bit more as well. And... Um, we can also upgrade these. I think what we want to do is really focus on getting the alchemist transformation. So, I don't, I don't know if that's going to help, though. It's probably worth a shot. See, this turns him into the crazy... Oh, my goodness. That Whoa, when he becomes a crazy attack monster, he pops so many balloons. That's great. I'm all about that. I wonder if that happens if he does that, if that'll, like, change the other ones. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit... Curious. I don't I hope it doesn't I hope that's not how that works. Because that could really mess with me. And then let's put this guy over here. Oh uh, yeah, let's put this guy here. And we're gonna want this guy to turn rubber to gold. So secret shrink potion converts all effective balloons to red balloon. That's gonna be really nice. And we probably wanna get um stronger acid. Uh larger potions splash in larger area. I probably wanna do that one. And the Balloon Master Alchemist is 48,000. What's this one? That's 54,000, and that's 72. Alchemist has some really, really expensive stuff. But hopefully he's making me a lot of money. I like having a lot of money. See, he doesn't pop a lot, but man, oh man, does, he's, he's good. He's good. He's more of like a support tower, you know? So he's helping out a lot. Round 80 is around the corner, and I don't know if we're going to be able to deal with this OMG. I'm a little bit nervous, not going to lie. But now we have this guy who's making us all the money in the world, and he's turning all the Moabs and stuff into just red balloons. So all affected balloons just turn straight into red balloons, and I have to say I'm happy about that. We still only have one life, and it's a little bit worrisome. But what I do want to do is I want to get Call to Arms, because it gives all nearby monkeys 50% bonus attack speed. Look at that. He just instantly just shreds Moabs and turns them into red balloons, BFBs included. It's amazing, and I love it, okay? I need $24,000 for this next upgrade. But it's going to be worth it because 50% increased attack speed for these monsters. Who's popped the most? So that guy's popped 75,000. This guy's popped only 6,000. And this guy's popped... Oh, man! That guy's popped 200,000. Yeah, the biggest one's doing a pretty good job. Mortar Monkey, he hasn't done a lot. But you know what? He's doing his best. Honestly, I think the Mortar Monkey should be, like, set here. This guy. Because once he puts the Bernie stuff on him, it's going to... Uh, it's not worth it. I feel like... I feel like we want to just put the Bernie stuff here because they'll constantly be in the uh, the fire as they're running around. This is actually a really, really good... Oh, here we go. We can finally get the Call to Arms building. And so now when we do that, we just give crazy attack speed. Wait! Wasn't there a ZOMG supposed to appear? Where the ha what happened to the ZOMG? It's just gone now. <laughs> the ZOMG just left us. I think this guy... This guy's almost popped 100,000 balloons! What? This guy's already popped, like, this guy's already popped ten times the amount that anyone else has popped. That's crazy. I think he's just turning the OMGs. We're almost there. We're only 20 rounds away from round 100 using this strategy. And let me say, this strategy is pretty awesome. Okay. We need to get... So we have the Mortar Monkey. He's popped a ton. But, I mean, this guy's... The Alchemist is catching up. The Alchemist is indeed catching up. Oh, here comes the OMG. Here's the OMG right here. Dude, he, look, he just turns it into a red balloon. He's like, nah, nah, chief. There you go. Oh, now you're a red balloon. I hope you enjoy being a red balloon. Joke's on you, kid. I Let's get total transformation. So, what happens when I use this? So, it only affects him. So, it's really was kind of a wa huge waste of money, but that's okay. 
Look at this. This guy's this guy's almost popped more than this guy's gonna pop the most most. This low joke, he's gonna pop the most. There we go. Anything that walks anything that walks into that pit is just instantly annihilated. I'm not complaining, that's awesome. Homeland Defense is $48,000. Once you do that, I really don't know if there's anything else that I need to get. You know what I'm saying? I could have gotten a Wall Street hub. See, I could have gotten that eventually, but there's really no need for money anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, man, that could have been really bad. But we actually, we dealt with them super easily. So that was around 91 when we were able to deal with those. So we just have to be a little bit more careful, and we need to be watching the screen now. So whenever that does, whenever those do, like, show up on screen, we can just, like, slow them down because... Yeah, I was not ready for that at all. I was not expecting them to just show up. And that could have instantly lost us the game if I wasn't prepared for that. And fortunately, I thought ahead and we had gotten the stuff to deal with those. So we didn't really have to worry about it. But that could have ended the game and I would have been a little bit salty. So we can do this and we just instantly just shred anything. We're at round 94. We've almost got to round 100. Dealing with the bad, I think, is going to be my biggest concern. Because that's going to be a little bit terrifying having to deal with that so yeah we're gonna have to give that a try at least we're gonna have to wish about that okay um we need to get all the way through here we need to just keep doing this uh here we can do see look at that it just freezes all the balloons and then we can just do that to reset it oh man and okay boom this is getting a little bit concerning. See, this guy, this guy's popped that many. How many has our this guy popped? He's popped over 500,000. He's almost popped a million. That's insane. I love it. It's also really nice that I can, I have Striker Jones. Oh, I can spend my money on Striker Jones. Never mind. He's level 20. Um, artillery Command, double damage to pops. Oh, no. So Artillery Command gives double damage to all of my balloons. Or at least to my mortar monkeys. That is OP. All right, it's round 98. We almost, we're going to have to deal with this bad balloon soon. So get ready, everyone. Actually, I'm not worried about it at all. As soon as the bad balloon just gets into the position, I can homeland defense, I can artillery, and then I can do that. And then we're going to be okay. Any problems with that? Nope. Okay, here comes the bad balloon. And as soon as it gets into radius, we're going to do this. So we're going to do that, we're going to do that, and we're going to do that. And then that should... In theory, oh no, stun it, can we stun it? Oh no, 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 we're having troubles, technical difficulties here. All right, we're gonna go back to normal speed because this is getting a little bit intense. Okay. All right, we're swapping targets, everyone swap targets. Swap targets, everybody. Okay, and let's, um. all right, let's speed it up. Okay, all right, now that we're in here, Oh man, it's close, it's close. All right, stun it, stun it. Homeland defense, attack faster. Yes, victory is ours. We have completed buff the mortars. Woo, that was a very intense challenge, might I add. That was crazy. One life in popable mode, only three mortars were allowed. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed playing that. That was pretty crazy. Now, if you guys enjoyed, you want to see more of these challenges, send me your codes at via Twitter. Thank you for the people who contributed. Don't worry if I didn't play, play your map. Make sure to send them to me, and I'll see if I can play those maps. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, everyone. Bye.